Who who was uh who was the biggest character on that team, on those grit and grind teams? Uh, it's, it's, hands down, is Tony Allen, man. T- Tony Allen, you know, you there's so many stories about that guy, and um, and you see and you see that it's uh you know how he's how he acts on his you know he has a radio show he does every Tuesday with Chris Vernon in Memphis. Still, I keep up with him, and um, he's 100 percent genuine, 100 percent like everything he says. He's honest. He's funny. He's you know he holds nothing back and at the same time he'll he will fight you you know at any point you know what i mean like so i mean he's the man and uh i look up to him in a lot of ways i thought it was funny when we had we had kd on the show a couple months ago and we asked him uh who the person he least liked going against was and he said tony in like 10 seconds like it wasn't even (laughs) a it wasn't even a i don't even think he uh hesitated at it at all well, Katie, Katie, Katie also feels like no one in the world can guard him, which is yeah. is, is is right. Probably I mean, right, right, rightfully so. Yeah. Uh, but he said the one, yeah, the one guy that gave him some semblance of problems was Tony. Yeah, um, I think you know a lot of people like probably felt that way about Tony because Tony took all those matchups so serious. Like when he was playing KD, Kobe, um, you know, any of those, any of the top top guys um that was his that was his time and uh and he would be stuck on you you know right on your hip and you know being physical just making it really tough on you all night and he never got tired you know he never got tired he always played through everything and um and he just had really strong hands you know what i'm saying it's like you get his hand on the ball and he just push you out of your positions and and trust me i know a lot because i practice against him every day and i always would call him out and have him guard me and you know, I try to be quicker than him and do all that and hardly worked, but you know, it made me better and uh, I know it made him a little bit better too. We played we played the Celtics in the two thousand ten conference finals and uh they beat us uh four two. And I don't remember what game it was, but I had had a couple good games uh early in the series and we're we're I go to check in to a game and it was a free throw. So I go and I line up for the free throw. I'm standing behind the three point arc, and Tony was in the game. And he comes over and walks over to me, and he he bends down next to me, and he turns into my ear and just starts going, <sighs> 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 <laughs> <Like> <laughs> as loud as he could breathe, as loud as a human could breathe, oh. and as forceful as you could breathe, just breathing in my ear, and like. I'm not scared of people on the court, but I'm like, all right, dude, like what what's this guy trying is he trying to get in my head? So I kind of just turned to him like, man, you good? You good? You got you need something? <laughs> like, oh my god, that's a that's that's a hundred percent him, man. It's it's like it's like uh like Lance Stevenson, you know, his his antics mix you know, Tony, they like they, they kind of favor in, in a lot of things that they do and by the way, they were they were on the same team at the same time at one point, Lance and Tony, which was hilarious. Like if you could ever imagine, but um, I believe that a hundred percent, man, and uh, that's just who he is. 